Hello Stampers and thank you so much for joining me today for another Stampin' Sunday video. This is Laura Buechler of Inky Fingers Paper Crafting, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Nanaimo, BC. Today I'm going to show you how to do the hinge stamping technique with the Stamparatus and make a terrific colorful card with the Biggest Wish stamp set. The Stamparatus is a stamp positioning tool from Stampin' Up! It's great for making sure that your stamped images end up exactly where you want them, and you can do lots of interesting techniques with it too. I often use the Stamparatus when I'm making a whole stack of cards all the same, and I wanna make sure my stamps are centered on a shape every time. It's also fabulous for wreath stamping and two-step stamping. Today, I'm going to show you one of the very simplest techniques, which is hinge stamping. We're going to be using the 2020 to 2022 in colors. That's Magenta Madness, Bumblebee, Just Jade, Misty Moonlight, and Cinnamon Cider. These colors, the ink pads, ink refills, designer series paper, blends, cardstock, embellishments, and every other product associated with these colors are all retiring and on the last chance list. That means they're only available while supplies last. So if you love these colors like I do, make sure you stock up now before they're gone. Because I'm using a photopolymer stamp set, I want to use the foam mat in my Stamparatus. That's because photopolymer stamps have a shorter depth than red rubber stamps. I'll put my white cardstock piece into the Stamparatus and line it up with these marks so that I have a reference point. Then I'll hold it in place with a magnet. To begin, I'll put the happy stamp face down on the cardstock in the spot where I first want to stamp it. I'll pick it up with the Stamparatus plate. Ink it up with Magenta Madness ink and then stamp on the cardstock. I'll clean the stamp with my chamois and leave it exactly where it is on the plate. Now I'll move the plate one step down and repeat the whole process with a new ink color. Three more to go. Now I've added all my colors, I'll stamp birthday in memento black ink and attach to my card. For a final touch, I'll add a rhinestone to embellish. And there's my finished card. Remember that you'll get a chance to win this card when you share the video from my public Facebook page. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please drop me a comment below and let me know what you think. And if there's something specific that you'd like to learn about, just ask. Remember that you can purchase all the products shown on my website, inkyfingers.ca, where you'll also find more project tutorials, current promotional details and catalogs, my events calendar, and the sign up for my email newsletter. Have a great day everyone, and happy stampin'! Bye!